all right guys welcome back to my channel and welcome to life is strange 2 we are finally done with episode 3 we're getting ready to start episode 4 and like the ending to episode 3 i was kind of wishy-washy about except that sean might have a kick-ass eye patch and i have to see right take me down to where my stars are shining all around me like halogen one I don't know, I was, I've been super excited about playing this again, um, which is saying a lot because I haven't been really motivated to record this, but the Once ending made me time, more excited. In a wild, wild world, there were two wolf brothers living in their home lair with their papa wolf. They lived in peace until hunters took their dad away. Aww. And they had to go on the run. That's when the big brother discovered that the little one was not an ordinary wolf, but a super wolf. Super wolf. They discovered a secret hideout where they could train day and night. They were happy. But the little wolf got very sick and they had to move on. The brothers made it to the home of their ancestors, and the old wolves took care of them. Unfortunately, the hunters were hot on their trail and found them. The brothers had nowhere to stay again, so they decided to keep going south. They soon entered the old forest of the giants, where they met a pack of stray dogs who worked in a secret farm. Farm. The brothers joined them and worked hard to stock up on gold for the future. They were happy to find others like them and everybody loved the little wolf who was growing up fast. His power was growing too. The little wolf was more and more confident and independent. The big brother hooked up with a cool she-dog. <sighs> they had their own adventures. Suddenly, the mean farmers who owned the land tried to hurt the brothers. The little cub was injured. He transformed into a super wolf. <laughs> And destroyed everything. The big brother was badly wounded. And worse, he didn't know where the little cub was. Why would Daniel leave his brother? That's the big question that's on my mind. Like, yeah, they had their differences, but does that mean you just leave your brother with a piece of glass in his eye? I'm just saying. Also, did no one, like, none of their friends, like, question their disappearance? They're like, oh, Finn and Cassidy are gone. All right. Like, didn't Finn have a girlfriend, like Hannah or whatever? Wasn't weren't they dating? Oh, he cut his hair. Are you still looking for your brother? Oh no, wait, there's your brother. Is this a dream? Hey, Sean. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. It was a bad idea. Daniel. No way. I feel like this is a dream. It's all good. Wish I listened when you tried to stop me from going with Finn. I was too pissed. <sighs> it's okay, dude. You're my brother. And that's all that counts. So, why don't you come and get me? Yeah, it's definitely a dream.
Well, tell me where to I'm get you from. Shot. Tell I me, Dream Daniel. Do... Tell me where you are. I'm scared. Don't get so close to that edge. Please, come and get me. Yes, I, I swear. Ask him where he's at. What if this is like another power for Daniel? Uh, stop! Oh. Oh, oh, they took him to a hospital. Well, obviously, because of his eye, duh. However, two months after the blast at Merrill's, it's been two months and he's at a hospital? What about his brother? What about the officers? Wouldn't they track him down? I have so many questions. Fuck. Daniel. This must be my punishment. Ugh, can't even focus on the page. This sucks ass, man. Uh, was in a coma for weeks, blind and fucked, plus in police cu custody, going to jail soon. Hospital freaks me out. Hate this. Where's Daniel? I'm scared. Okay, well then that answers my question a little bit. Try to draw to kill time. This room is a cage, but I suck now. No depth perception, no art, no shit. Focusing equals immediate migraines going crazy in here. Woke up crying. Aww. Secret agent, florist. She's trying to bond with me, trap me, or trust me. So fucked. Cops still can't find Daniel after the explosion, so he's out there alone. Happy birthday, Daniel, wherever you are, and Nino. And Nino and Na wow, sorry guys, I am tired. <laughs> Claire and Steven sent me a nice letter. So lonely, I read it twice. Weird how I miss them now. So cool to hear from Captain Spirit too. Glad he's doing fine. My Joey sketch doesn't look um, bad. So gl glad he's around. I uh, wish I could hear Cass play again. All those songs are gone, but not our time together. I fuck Daniel up. I let Fen become his brother. I was trying to be the good influence. Can't shit. <sighs> Zero depth perception. Goodbye, sports. Oh, you're fine. Yeah. Thanks for the card, Agent. Can't wait to text you. Yay. Stupid reality shows. Yay! I'm supposed to call the nurse when I'm done eating. Uh, guess I'm done. Glad Stephen's leg is better. Must be tough on Claire. Sean, we are so grateful to find that you are safe and awake. The police contacted us when you were found unconscious in Humboldt County. We weren't allowed to visit you in the hospital, but we want you to um, recover ASAP. The doctor says that you woke up from the coma stronger than before. The most important thing now is to find Daniel. We are helping the police any way we can. They really want to help uh, find him too, Sean. Hopefully this reflects well during your trial. We know this must be hard for you after everything and your brother have been through. We're both in... Uh, you're both in our thoughts and prayers every day and night. Remember, we are a family and we love you. We hope to visit you in jo Jonina Shore as soon as we can. Take care. P.S. Chris instead insisted to write a little note. It's attached to this letter. P.P.S. He doesn't know Daniel is missing. Oh. P.P.S. I don't know why, but as a child, I did P.S.S. Did anybody else? So glad Chris is okay. That kid is a real superhero on his own. Hope you're okay. I am fine, but I miss both of you a lot. After my accident, I had to wear a stupid cast forever. I was trapped in my room all winter. Sucks. But summer's here and I can play again. All the snow's gone. You should come back to Beaver Creek without the snow. I will be waiting for you, Chris and Captain Spirit. P.S. We need to save the Beaver Creek from the swamp bugs. Aww. That's so cute. Oh, I already read that. Cat I want to... Stephen's leg is better. I miss Cass so much. Howdy. Wish I could hold her. Howdy, city boy. Bet you're surprised here for me. I find I found out uh, we were in the same hospital from the police after we got 
um, wow, after we were questioned when I was checked out a month ago. So I took the chance to write and hope you get this. Wish I could say everything I want, but you never know who's reading, right? Is If anybody else is reading this, F you. I truly hope you're okay after what happened. As for me, I don't remember much except for the explosion at Merrill's office. Then I woke up in the hospital with blunt trauma, healing, and what the doctors call blast lung injury, hurting. Just glad that I can still play the guitar and sing, not that I feel like it. You learn a shitload about medicine stuck in a hospital bed. I'm sure, or as I'm sure you know, my sweet compadre, still working on that Espanol, miss my lessons and my teacher. You probably know more about what's going on than me, but Hannah, Penny, and I were released without charges. The police were stoked to bust a farm of drug traffickers rather than uh, rather than us gut, uh, gutter punks toiling in the field. We asked about you and Daniel, but we got no answers. So with Finn and you gone, our rail family is kind of broken up. Now we're just a lonely trio, train hopping up and down from the state or the state, but it feels like we're going in a loop to nowhere. Hannah and Penny aren't the same and we fight too much. I'm not even sure we'll be together for much longer. Shit changes, right? Maybe I'll have a whole new set of blue songs for the road. I know you're going to trial soon over the Seattle situation, and you will get justice and freedom you deserve. You and Daniel are amazing brothers, and I hope you find your way home soon. I hope we can swim again under the new moonlight. It's a big world, and maybe we'll meet each other someday. I'll always be singing your song. Love and peace, Cassidy. So, did Finn get arrested? Or... I'll look at our little wolf tattoo. Or did he, like, you know, meet his untimely demise? in a nice way. I think I've looked at everything I can look at. Oh, I can draw. Click to observe. Click to observe. I saw the button. Where is it? So hard to focus. Gotta practice way more. I'm not giving up. That's right, we're not giving up. I guess that's an okay start. But I can keep going. You just gotta keep focusing. Draw prison bars, draw staircase. See, this is something he didn't do before. Before he just drew what he saw. Now he's imagining something as he's drawing. I feel like that's... Wish I could find a highway to freedom. That signifies something, I think. Okay, well, I, th I think we're literally done with everything. Um, bouncy ball, letters, TV. Can I get out of bed? This day feels like every other day. Joey must hate the sound of this thing. Yo. Okay, I was like, I don't know what else to do. <laughs> Good day, sunshine. Hey, Joey. Hey, man. Oh, look at us making friends. That looks like it might have been food. Hard to tell. Ha ha. Never heard that before. Oh, somebody is in a bad mood. Sorry, yeah, he Joey. is. Not feeling it today. Mm, I don't blame you. But maybe I got something to cheer you up. Pecans and chocolate? Uh-oh. There's that smile. <laughs> Thanks, Joe. <laughs> so how you feeling today? That's how I bribe my daughter, Any too. Headaches? Socket pain? No. It's all good. Well, this is your final test before 
Mm, you know. Detest. Before they check you out. Check me out to Juvie. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, let's see. You know the drill. Don't blink and just stare at the light. Is that for his good eye? Yes. Nice retina response. Okay. Now, try to follow the light as well as you can. Oh, okay. Follow the light by moving the mouse. Good. Good. Keep going. Quick response. Nice. Yeah, I am. Sean, you got this. Remember, to see objects on your left side, you gotta turn your head more now. Yes. Looking good, Sean. Now try to align your pen with mine. I'll try. No rush. This is tough. Hold to view. Okay, and move his arm. Oh, depth perception. Your depth perception will always be affected. So you gotta try harder. <sighs> Shit. Yeah, I know. It's hard. Ugh, come on. I think this is... Oh, it's hard because it's a video game. Hey, that clipped. Yeah, I feel enough. like... Too much stress on you and your eye. But remember, your depth perception will always be affected. Hmm. Here, read this. Patient cleared. I'm a pirate. Patient cleared. Get me out of here. I'm a pirate without a patch. Arr. I'd be more worried if you weren't such a smart ass. You can try, but you can't rig the exam, Sean. <sighs> it's time we release you. Sorry. Your vision has improved a lot. Now you don't really have severe side effects anymore. Yeah. That's just great. I do have to tell them the truth. But first, let's clean this dress. Hey. Sure hope you're watching the door like your phone. Oh, come on. <sighs> you ain't going nowhere. Great. All I do is watch him. Yes, true. Your job. <laughs> Feisty, I like do you it. mind if we talk alone? Mind if I finish with my patient? He looks good for now, right? Just come back when I'm finished with him. But we wanted a new sure. patch. I'll swing by later, Sean. Stay cool. Stay frosty. Hey, Flores. Think that was your name? Buddy, buddy, so, pal. How are you feeling today, Mr. Diaz? Amazing. Did you find Daniel? I want to go over this again. What? I've been telling the same fucking story for three weeks. How much longer? Until it makes sense. Until you get it right. So, silence isn't gonna help you now. Listen close, Sean. Tomorrow you're going to Jolina Shore and you'll be arraigned in court for the murder of a Seattle police officer. You might spend the rest of your life in prison or you can talk to me. Didn't kill anyone like you care innocent until proven guilty. I didn't kill anyone. The end. So, who did? You do know. It's just, I can't. Was Daniel involved? Is that why you can't talk? No, no way. And you're absolutely sure your dad didn't go after the officer? 100% he was killed. You kidding? Yeah. He came outside. Then he was killed. That's what he did. Just guilty of being... Who knows? I hear you, but... You sure you didn't get upset and go after the officer? It happens. Jesus, no. Look at me. Okay, let's just jump ahead. I feel like I'm answering these questions Tell me wrong. What happened in that farm in Humboldt? Explosion. The place looks like a tornado wiped it out. I've told you so many times. 
I have no clue why the place was trashed. I passed out. Plus three seriously wounded, along with you. And a missing child. No body's statement matches with each other. Sean, throw me a bone here. Can't you see I want to help? So you haven't found my brother? We might have some leads. You can help by telling me the truth. Or you can help me by telling me okay. the leads and I can tell you if they're Fuck. solid or not. I feel like we would know Daniel better Robbery. than you. Whose idea was it? Finn's. Or yours. Huh? Finn's. My idea, Finn. Finn. It was his idea to rip off Marrow. Did he force you to help? Yes, or technically. Did you go along with it? He forced us to help. He lied. I didn't want to help. But he got Daniel involved. I swear. Swear. I didn't think anything like this was going to happen. Nobody does, Sean. Until he looks so awkward late. in his hospital gown. Yeah. Now I know. And what about Cassidy? She planned all this with Finn? No. She was against it. She was against this stupid plan. She had nothing to do with it. Your friends are learning the hard way. They didn't deserve it. I didn't want any of this shit. That's true. Now I gotta live with it. You're not alone, Sean. We didn't want there anything to do with Ben. To help. I'm just saying. By the way, we contacted your grandparents in Beaver Creek. They can visit you after you're transferred. Might be a while, but you do have a support group. We couldn't track down your mother, though. Sorry. Good. What about Daniel? You said you had leads. I said might. Uh, hold on. I gotta take this call. Is it about Daniel? Can you talk about it in front of me? Are you going into my bathroom to talk about it? Sorry, Finn. Oh, she didn't want anything to do with this. Wonder what Meryl told the cops about the robbery. Sorry, Hannah. Hope the cops didn't mess with Penny. Prison would fuck him up. Yes. Is there any Sorry, more read? <sighs> yeah, no. She didn't want anything to do with this. Oh, Cassidy's real name's Lucy. I want to know what the phone call is. Daniel or Sean, get up. Is there anything else I can look at while she's on the phone? Sorry, I'm trying to hear her. Sorry, Finn. Oh, wonder. Sorry. Hope the cops didn't mess with Penny. Prison would fuck him up. Sorry oh, good. About that. Okay. So what's going on with Daniel? You really have leads? Yes, we do. That's our job. The Bureau put his profile out over four states. So we are on the case. You lied to me for how long? You lied to me. You have no leads. You have no fucking idea where my brother is. I don't lie, Sean. But you did. And your brother is paying the price. What did I lie about? Fuck. You. Exactly. I'm done. Anyway. Thanks for talking to me. I'll be back tomorrow to take you to Jolina Shore. All right, I ha I sense an escape plan a hatching. Look out. I have to guard the guard now. <laughs> Love it. 
sit down so we can get this show going. So, how did your interview with Scully go? I'm free. You mean interrogation? You mean interrogation? Who knows? Maybe Detective Flores wants to help. Maybe not. I just can't trust her. After what you and your brother went through, I don't blame you. Oh, this shit is all wrong, man. You've been out of the garden for three weeks now. We talk every day. I can see that you're a good person. Thanks, Joey. Someone believes in us. Thanks, Joey. Want to tell that to the judges? I'm just saying, you don't deserve this. Now let's check this out. Oh yeah, let's check out his eyeball. The healing is coming along nice. Just gotta keep it clean for the next week or so. Simple. That's great. Seen the shrink this morning? What did she say? Nothing I want to hear. This will take time and rehab, Sean. You have to process first. Ugh. I can tell myself that shit. Clearly, I'm no therapist, but I've nursed patients with your injury. They all turned their anger into energy. You will too. <laughs> Plus, the glass eye tech is pretty cool now. <laughs> Things change, huh? We can have a glass eye. I hear you. I want a I'm glass eye. Positive. But it's so hard. I know. I do. But I promise there's a treat coming your way. Now as for your wound, this is the last time you hear this from me. You have to clean it with sterile gauze and saline solution. All we want is an eye patch. Cope the that was the most the stiff gauze I've ever seen. Am I supposed to remember this? Gauze, sterling solution, sterile solution, saline. I don't remember. Goop then wrap it up on eye. Clean dressing. And then wrap it with dressing. And you're the Just shape. like a turkey. Remember, you gotta do this. Four times a day. I won't forget. We won't be in a position where we I'm have sorry to. sorry about everything, Sean. Wish I could have done more. Dude, you saved my ass here. You're the only one I trust. It really helped. Cool. I'm glad when I can make a ch- Oh, shit. <sighs> Emergency. I'm out. And no smoke break. Let's say our goodbye tomorrow. Oh, Sean, check out that towel. Got your name all over it. Is it chocolate? Catch you later. Bye, Joey. BFF. Make bracelets later. <sighs> Joey. You are her boss. Joey's the only one who helped me get through this shit. Can I throw the bouncy ball now? No. What? Wow. I haven't seen you in a long time. Oh, look, our journal. That Joey. Thank you, buddy. I know I fucked Daniel over. Again. And now he's gone. Where would he hide out? Ten year old by himself? Out there? He might go back to Seattle. But too far. Nowhere to go. If he tried to hook up with Claire and Steven, they would have definitely told me. Or the cops. Right, that's true. They would have told the cops at least. Wait, what's that? Super Wolf. Huh? Had. Does that mean? It means that Daniel. 
had a few. with Jacob somewhere. <sighs> He's safe. I could see him again. <sighs> had a few beers. Daniel's asleep. Same night every night. He wants to train more, but we don't have time. Plus, we gotta hide. It's not easy. Sean, I borrowed a blanket and a few other things from your tent. We'll give them back to you when we come looking for your Super Wolf comic. It's waiting for you, Jake. All right. Depression night. Everyone shared their worst memory. Everyone felt like shit. What a wonderful world. Went to bed early again with Daniel. Kind of wish I stayed up with everyone else, though. Meh. You fucking woo. I'm a smear wolf. Daniel messed up again. Gotta fix this. So fucking tired of running away. Aww. All I gotta do is find that page with Jacob's home. Haven Point, Nevada. Met a new uh, workers from Europe, Anders and Ingrid, or Ingrid, or uh, a cute couple makes me want to travel overseas someday. Had a long talk with Jacob. He's like a little kid. He He's lived in some religious commune from Haven Point, Nevada. Looks fine here. Free? I gotta get to him. I gotta find a way to escape. Tonight. But how? Okay. Time to clear off now. This whole hospital is so quiet. So don't make any noise. Find a way to get the hell out of here. Look under bed. Joey's pen. Card. I'm just kind of looking around real quick. Bed sheets. Window. Curtain. Inspect. Evacuation plan, bathroom. Can I go in the bathroom? I can. Check I. Okay. All right. So there's a lot of things that we can do in the room. Uh, we're going to make our escape plan uh, in the next episode. So if you guys like this video, press the like button. If you watch more videos, press the subscribe button. I make videos Monday through Friday, and I'll talk at your faces later. Bye.